Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, Welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. you this evening, gentlemen. Well, stay there, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out! I need to lower the grip for the show! Here. A big round of applause for this brave, brave man! My Our God. volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. You lie! 
lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point-blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? <laughs> will our honored guest go unharmed? We British are a hardy bunch. Let's put our hardiness to the test. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Who's over there? Thanks. If he's not wrath, leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. Search for want rather than need. Enjoy your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! Burn! A baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. 
For the same reason, I'd do anything. Why not? out alive. this place from hell to hackney damn this place from hell to hackney
widespread disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupane has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, I will start anew. London must be reborn. under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're gonna move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. What? Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you would be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. Treating me like a child.
rain will subside. Must be some expert. That's it, girl. That's a girl. Where can they be? The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. Steady on. Let's go. Who's a good horse? You are. I am on the right track. event. Don't mind if I do.
be you. Alone. So I say to you, the money you earn should stay. Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still... Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone.
One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. For the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Steady on. Let's go. <laughs> Who's a good horse? You are. Slow down. Doing fine, girl. Easy does it. That's the way. Steady on. Oh. 